so hello guys welcome to this video so into this quick video i'll be explaining you the android app which we have just written using android studio in order to communicate with this nodemsu wi-fi model now as you can see right now we have this uh, nodemsu model which is connected to a 5 volt power supply which is a mobile phone charger and actually we have just programmed this nodemsu model using the arduino idea and i'll be explaining explaining all the code later on so here we have just uh, written this android app as you can see in order to control this uh, rgb led now here as you can see we have this rgb led which is connected to this nodemsu wi-fi module and here in this program let's say in this communication in this wireless communication we have this nodemsu module which is set up in the uh, ap model meaning that access point or maybe let's say it is just a hotspot and then we just connect uh, we will connect this mobile phone uh, to this nodemsu module uh, which is set up as a hotspot so now let's say if i uh, turn on my wi-fi We have a network as you can see this is the youtube wi-fi app so this is the name of this uh, wi-fi network which is set up by this nodemsu module so now as you can see this uh, network is password protected and it depends on your preference if you want to set password or not so now here we have this uh, i mean we have just established communication between this uh, nodemsu model and android app so what we are going to do, do is just we are going to open this app and as you can see if i press this red as you can see the red led will light up and if i agree if i press on the button called the green and as you can see here we have this green light which has just light lit up and then here uh, when i as you, as you might have noticed when i press on the uh, different buttons uh, we have this text which is changing so we are receiving this text from this nodemsu module and that's why when i press this red I'm sending red command to this nodemsu module. So this nodemsu module is set up in the uh, hotspot mode. And then uh, this is somehow web server. And now here our Android app is acting like the uh, client. And then we are sending this kind of HTTP request to the uh, Andro to, to this uh, Wi-Fi module. And then uh, we, as a result, we are uh, receiving response from the server so here as you can see if i press different buttons we have this different responses accordingly or based on the request which we are making to this server from the client app and then thus the server is responding back to this client which is the app here in our case so in the following part i will be explaining all the code bit by bit so so guys now in this part i will be explaining you all the code that we have that we have written in order to develop our android app as well as the code which was written to program the nodems module so as you can see as i mentioned earlier we used the uh, arduino idea in order to can the program our module which is called the nodemsu asp8266 and then here we have this uh, android studio which we use toward the development of the android app and of course here we use the java programming language and depending on your preference you can use any other language as, such as kotlin so now uh, we, here we have the fully functioning android app and i will be taking you through this uh, all the code which we have written and also i will be explaining you all the code bit by bit which is written here in this and uh, arduino idea so now if you if you're ready let's get underway now very first thing we did was uh we created the project called youtube wi-fi app and of course as i said uh, you can change the name of the project depending on your preference so this is the name which is gonna uh, pop up uh, as a android uh, application name and afterwards very first thing we did was just we uh, what we did was we opened this manifest file and in the in the manifest file so as you can see right here we gave all the necessary permissions since we are using the http protocol to communicate with the wi-fi module we are using this internet permission and also we are using the wi-fi state and then change wi-fi state permissions because we will be sending the uh, commands to the uh, module uh, not into module via wi-fi network and then here once you are done with this permissions all you have to do is just you have to declare this uh, android the uh, uses clear text traffic so actually we are using this in order to send or communicate with only text messages in uh with the nodemsu module so now just in case you have to 
put it here so if you are uh, sending only text data here or textual data and then once you are, once you are done with this manifest file you are going to close this manifest file and the next we are go what we are going to do is just we are going to open this build and uh, gradle file and then here we will be declaring a couple of dependencies so here we will be actually if you want to establish communication between the wi-fi module and the android app there are a bunch of uh, protocols that you can use for instance tcp ip but here in this case we are only using http protocol that is why uh, in order to establish the http communication between my wi-fi wi module and the android app we are using the dependency called the ok http here as you can see we have declared this and then of course if you want you can just copy or just type it manually and then don't forget to sync this gradle so i mean uh, now right now in my case it has been already synced but if uh, in your case if it's not synced all you have to do is just here uh, you have to press on the sync gradle which would appear here uh, if this gradle is unsynced now once we once we are done with gradle file we're going to close this file and then here uh, in the main activity.xml uh, file so basically this is the layout file as you can see we have three buttons and then apart from that we have this uh, text view so we will be using this text view in order to uh, print the response which we will be receiving from the not MSU. and as you probably noticed this is a two-way communication meaning that we are sending http requests or the string commands to the not MSU, and then afterwards we are receiving the commands based thing we are receiving response based on the what kind of command we are sending to the not msu so here as you can see button and then here we are using constraint layout oh, and of course depending on your preference you can use any other lay uh, layout so here we have this layout and after this one we have this red button so as you can see we have uh, give ideas to buttons correspondingly and after this one we have this uh, text txt so here and after this one uh, we have this txt view but as you can see initially this is set to invisible this is uh, made invisible but uh, once once we receive the response from the not msu the response will be shown here and then meaning that this text view will be uh, visible so just as you can see this is just a simple layout and of course if, depending on your preference you can modify this layout just feel free to tweak the code uh, depending on whatever you want and now uh, in the main activity file so we have all the necessary libraries but we will not be going over them going over or i will not be taking you through these libraries since uh, all of those uh, libraries were imported automatically depending on what i was writing in this code and then here as you can see we are just declaring uh, three buttons and then after this we have this uh, txt uh, response that's why it's it's uh, it uh, i gave it name like txt rest and then as you can see here we have buttons and then after this one we have this ok http client as you can see we are initializing our client right here because we want this client to be visible in all this i mean all i mean just uh, in the code wherever we want that's why in order to make it public we declare this object here so as you can see we are creating new client object and after this one on create method in the on create method uh, here now i want to draw your attention especially to this part of the code actually this part of the code uh, is kind of serving a particular purpose because you know sometimes uh, whenever the uh, wi-fi is on sorry whenever the internet or your the, your mobile data is on and then whenever you want to try the the try uh, communicate with some other modules via wi wi-fi network and if the mobile phone detects that the uh, wi-fi network has uh, doesn't have any internet connectivity and in this case kind of it may not be able to communicate with the wi-fi network that's why in order to kind of force our mobile phone programmatically to send the commands regularly to the wi-fi module we are using this piece of code or maybe it's just uh, the part of this code in order to kind of uh, change and of course you can do this uh, manually or you can do change this from the setting uh, of your phone and then here right here as you can see we are just doing this programmatically meaning that uh, we are only forcing our phone to communicate with the wi-fi uh, regardless of whether this wi-fi network has the internet connectivity or not and after this one we are just initializing all of those uh, ui elements so if you remember we had three buttons as well as uh, txt response and once we are done so as you can see we have this we we are on click listener uh, we are implementing this on click on click listener method in order to perform a certain 
action when the button is pressed as you can see we have this uh, three functions for the three different buttons so here uh, btn red means it means button red but, uh, button green and then button blue and then we have the set on click listener and then if we continue here we have as you can see send command function as you can see and this uh, function is inside the uh, up come up main activity uh, inside the main activity and here uh, we have the send the command and then uh, we what we are going the and then here uh, we are gonna carry out the networking stuff in the another or the separate thread so that it does not interfere with the ui thread as you probably know the ui uh, operation is carried out in the main thread and then sometimes if we carry out the networking thread kind of it may cause our application to freeze and apart from that the android studio doesn't run the code properly it will give us warning that's why we are uh, carrying out all this operation i'm in the networking i'm sending the commands to uh, we are just carrying out this in the background that's why as you can see here uh, we have this uh, new thread and then in this thread we are receiving this uh, command and as you can see here this is the default address of the uh, nodium to module so here our nodium to module is set up in the access point mode Me it means that it serves as a hotspot mode and then the mobile phone will get connected to this to that uh, network created by the nodium zoo and then uh, in this case can the, the phone will be server and the nodium zoo sorry the phone will be climb, client and then nodium zoo will be the server or will act as a server so now here as you can see we have this id address and then this is the default ip address and based on your preference if you want you can change this ip address to whatever you want so this is the default address address default ip address as i mentioned and then here as you can see we are kind of creating the full command so as you can see so once we create the full command we will be having something like this okay so we will be having h uh, http colon and then double forward slash and then 192 168 4 double and then as you can see something like this let's say if we send the green command we will be having something like this so this would be the full command sent to the nodem su and then in the nodem su this command will be kind of extracted from the full command and i we will be coming to this in a moment when i'm explaining the full code uh, written in the arduino idea so now here as you can see we have this full command and after getting this full command actually i want to print the full command in the log cut window and then if you're unsure about what if you're unsure what is the log cut window so log cut window is the here as you can see most of the time we use this log cat window in order to debugging purposes so i want to make sure that the command is uh, sent successfully that's why i am printing the command as you can see here right here in order to check whether the command has been sent successfully or not and then here what we are going to do is just we are going to make a new request as you can see for this we have this uh, uh, new uh, request object basically this uh, request object can be found inside the ok http library so once you can uh, Im import this library or once you add this dependency into uh, build gradle file you will be able to use uh, all the uh, functions uh, included in the uh, ok http dependency so this is the request as you can see we are making a new request here and then request builder and then here we have url and then as, as a url we are using this uh, full command and then we are building this request okay once after uh, maybe once building the request we are uh, creating another response object so in the response object we will be kind of receiving the response uh, which we will receive uh, from the nodem su module so as you can see here this is a response and then in the response as you can see in the client object as you pro as you probably remember uh, as you might have remembered so we declare the client object right here in order it, in order it to be visible uh, in other parts of the program that's why it was declared here globally and then here we have this uh, client and then in the client uh, we are carrying out new call meaning that we are carrying out new request so that based on this request we will be receiving this response and then after this one we are getting this response and then in a nutshell we are getting the only the body of this response and we are storing it to this my response string value and my string variable and after that one let's say we will be having the response in some sort of weird format for instance it will include hashtags http codes and something like this that's why in order to extract the only 
only pure response from the uh, text which is sent by the uh, from the response which is sent by the node MSU. We are just uh, carrying out this regression operation as you can see, and then after this one we will be having only clean response. And then in order to clean the clean response more clean, in order to make the clean response more clean, we are kind of eliminating all the unnecessary characters such as this new line character, carriage character, and then as you can see empty space. And apart from that, here we have the another kind of tab characters and then here we are just carrying out this we are using the stream function in order to eliminate unnecessary uh, spaces maybe it can be in the beginning or it can be at, at the end of the I mean in the end of the string and then after this one we are just printing this response to the log window log cut window as I said this window is used for the debugging purposes and then so we want to make sure that we are receiving proper response from the not MSU. and then once we got this clean response uh, let's say from the not MSU, what we are going to do is just we are going to print this response in our uh, text view which uh, has the idea uh, named uh, txt res and then here as you can see we have this run on ui thread so the reason why we are using this run on uh, ui thread function is that uh, basically now as you can see this all of this code is running in the background it's not in the main thread it means that in order to avoid the interference uh, of this networking operation with the main activity or maybe let's say with the ui uh, components ui operation we just uh carried out this uh, in the background and then in order to print this directly i cannot kind of print this message to in the text uh, text uh, txt response because as you can see this is in the main background this is in the uh, background thread and then this txt response is in the main thread that's why here we are just using this function run on the ui thread and then here we are just printing the message and then yeah that's it so here we are done with the send function and then here as you can see in this code let's say if this button red is pressed as you can see it's the set on click listener what we are gonna do is just we are gonna send the command which is called red and then uh, the same applies to the other buttons as well i mean the same method so here we will be using the set on click listener one more time and then in here as you can see we are just uh, receiving the we are sending the green command and then after this one we are we have blue command so here one once the blue button is pressed, we will be sending the command blue to the NodeMC model. And based on the command received, the NodeMC will carry out different operations. So basically, this is the code. And then if I kind of run this up, I, I'm not entirely sure if it, if it can run or not. Because here, I don't have the uh, Wi-Fi connected to this mobile phone and then yeah it was kind of this uh, program was tested uh, not in the emulator but we tested it in the real mobile phone so as you can see and then if we kind of run this code here as you can see we have this red button so as you can see we are not getting any response the reason is that we are not sending these commands to the any not mc wi-fi module which is connected to this mobile phone that is why we are not get, receiving any response but in here as you can see if we open this so as you can see we are getting the system error because uh, we connection failed i think here we are not able to connect to our network that is why we are getting this error so okay so now let me close this and uh, let me close this and now if we move on to the arduino part as you can see so here we have a couple of libraries which are included which are incorporated in this project in this code and also i am sure that you that you know how to uh, include the new libraries into your arduino idea and then if you are if you are not familiar with how to do that just let me know in the comment section below and then it, once we input once we uh, incorporate these uh, libraries as you can see uh, we are just defining three uh, variables as you can see correspondingly we are just uh, declaring three variables uh, which corresponds uh, which correspond to the three leds uh, available and as you can see we are just lighting up the leds with the uh, not MC board that's why we have this uh, pins like d5 d6 and d7 and then these are the network credentials and here as i mentioned earlier this is the name of the network which our mobile phone will be uh, connecting to so as i said in this case the nodem so will be acting as a wi-fi hotspot mode uh, i mean in the hotspot mode meaning that all the other devices uh, or it can be discovered it can be discovered by all uh, other uh, surrounding devices so that uh, once you you establish communication between the wi-fi module and the mobile phone 
Or you can control this uh, node MSU using the HTTP command. So here, this is the name of the Wi-Fi, and this is the name of the kind of this is the password credential. So actually, it is optional to use password or not, and then based depending on your preference, if you want, you can tweak the password as well as this uh, name of the app, and then I mean sorry, name of the network, and then here we have this uh, serial. So this is I think it's not necessary. And then here, as you can see, we are establishing, we are uh, creating creating this uh, access point access point means hotspot mode and then in the access point mode our node MC will be acting as a kind of web server and the mobile phone will be acting as a client which will be connecting to the server and then uh, it will communicate with the server with the help of http commands and then once uh, upon finishing upon setting up our network as you can see here we have this access point started this will this message will be printed in the serial monitor so if you don't know how to open the serial monitor just uh, you have this icon just tap on this and then you will be able to open the serial monitor and then here we are printing the ip address and as i mentioned earlier the default default IP address is 192.168.4.1 and then depending on your preference you will be changing this default IP address and then if you are not familiar with how to change the default IP address of the Wi-Fi module just uh, do let me know in the comment section below and I will be making another tutorial where I will be explaining how you can change the credentials or the as well as the IP address of the NodeMSU module and then here we are just declaring these LEDs as an output and then here initially we are just turning off the three available LEDs and then here what we are going to do is just we are going to declare a new string value called the string variable called all commands so we will be using this later on I will be explaining this and then as you can see here Wi-Fi client we are just creating new client object from the server as you can see here we have this uh, server I think uh, okay yeah as you can see here we are de declaring the server and then we are just receiving, we are creating new client if the client is available, meaning that if the client is connected to the uh, server, in this case, we are receiving the request from the coming from the client. And then if the client is we here, we are just carrying out a couple of uh, conditions. As you can see, firstly, if the client is connected as well as the client is available, what we are, what we are going to do is just we are going to read the characters one by one because the all of the commands are sent by uh, some characters. And then once you can collect the, all of those characters, you will be able to have the whole uh, string. And here, as you can see, we are just gathering all the commands and then here, uh, once we reach the end of the line, we are going to print the request. So this is the request uh, sent by the Android app. And then after receiving the, after printing the request, here, as you can see, we are just, as I said, uh, it is not going to be the pure response. Let's say if we send or if we press on the green button, this is not going to be green. Instead, in order to get the pure command, what we have to do is just we have to create, we have to carry out certain operations. So here, as you can see, we are just uh, extracting the pure command now and after extra extracting the pure command here as you can see we are just eliminating all the other unnecessary characters like from the string in a nutshell we are just purifying our string here as you can see we are just uh, eliminating this end lines and then uh, just empty spaces tab characters and then once we receive the command we are just printing this command in the serial monitor and then after this one we are just storing this command uh, as you can see we it declared the variable string variable called the all command and then here in the all command we are just uh, kind of storing this command let's say if we receive this red and then in this case it is this is gonna be red plus on in this case we will have this text something like uh, something like this so red is on and then if the command is green we will be saying we will be saying uh, green, green is on and then something like this so and then after the based and then after this based on the commands received uh, from the android app let's say if the uh, command this command equals uh, red this means it means that we if we are receiving the red command we, we are gonna turn on the red led and then we are going to turn off the remaining ones so and then the same applies uh, to other uh, brackets of the codes i mean the other parts of the codes for instance if we receive the green we are going to turn on the green light and then we are going to turn off the other parts and then if we receive the blue and then here we are going to turn on the blue light while we keep the other uh, remaining leds off and then here as you can see if we can the reach the peak I and mean, the end of the line as you can see we are going to send the response and here in the all commands as you can see and then now as you can see here we are just sending the response with html format in html format that's why in our android app we carried out some 
purification step and then stuff and then here we are sending this all command so here we as you can see client.println and then command with stack so this is it basically we are sending the command as i said if we receive the red we are going to send this red is on if we receive the blue blue is on so guys this this is basically a two-way communication between the android app as well as in the uh, node mcu wi-fi module and in this uh, communication node mcu module is set up in hotspot mode meaning that this network or the cr network created by the node mcu can be discovered by other uh, surrounding devices which has the wi-fi capabilities and then uh, so yeah basically that's it and i will be providing the full code in the uh, github repository and then if there is something that you don't understand please kindly let me know in the comment section below and i will be glad to help you thank you